Part two is about to commence. <laughs> what was that face about? Hi guys, and now it is part two of my two-part series of makeup essential kit items. If you're gonna do makeup as a profession, the first one I did was beauty makeup essential kit items. If you haven't seen that, you could put not put, go to the link down below. It'll be the first link in the description box. And now we're gonna do the makeup special effects a kit. I cannot tell you how many people have emailed me, contact me, you need to do this video because they don't know what to put in their kit for special effects makeup. And there's some duplicates from the beauty makeup, but there's a lot of other things that are a lot of different and really weird and slimy and gross and creepy, but that's why you have to love it. You cannot be afraid to get dirty when you're going into special effects makeup. And like I said, in the previous video about beauty makeups you need to know the ingredients in your makeup sometimes you have to show up on set with like a list of all the ingredients that were in the things and like a pamphlet and be so they know that there's no bombs that are coming on set I know that's really scary to think about but they really need to know that everything's professional but there's two type of makeup artists I find in this area no three there's ones like me, I mostly do like, you know, I'll put an appliance on. I will do a fantasy makeup. I'll try to do as much as I can, but I'm not the person that builds molds for face off and that type of stuff. I was trained to build molds, but I'm not fully trained in all the types of t molds that you need to make. So I really need to get cracking on that studying. But if you want to put on prosthetics or do body painting, this is the type of essentials kits items that I feel like you would need to have so yeah there's mold people that make them and build them and there's people like me that put on the prosthetics that were already made and paint over it and stuff and there's body painters which I kind of do that as well too I da try to dabble in everything I try to set up my kit for not only beauty but special kit effects stuff and everything so maybe you watch both of these videos if you want to be a jack of all trades which is what I try to do but let's get started with the items I mean first thing you're gonna need is some makeup brushes you don't necessarily need a primer for special effects makeup because you want the skin as clean as you want it but you might need some of that micellar water to start off with just to make sure that their skin is really clean if you don't have this witch hazel is really cheap and works really well you want to make sure their skin like I said is fully clean and dry before you put on prosthetics or body paint or anything you want to do and as you can tell these are a lot different than my beauty makeup brushes because they're more like paint brushes and they vary from like foundation looking type brushes to like square big type brushes to like the ton of type brushes but they all look like paint brushes sometimes I get ones that are like more for water coloring and what you really would want to also get is like a white or nude eyeliner pencil so if you want to sketch out where you want to put appliances or paint certain things on the face that would be really good as well now this baby right here is good and really expensive but it's good for both beauty and special effects this is the makeup forever flash palette you can also get like these cheaper alternatives of Ben Nye wheels and all different colors why you want every color of the rainbow and why this sells is because I mean look up all of it I use that white one but this is so good for set makeup on beauty to special effects to everything this my friends you can make lipstick out of it you can make a cheek color out of it you can make someone's foundation out of this if you know how to mix your colors and color correcting this literally that's why they call it the makeup forever flash palette and it's so useful you could do a cream eyeshadow with this you could do a concealer with this just anything and everything you could do even do like Anastasia dip brow type thing as long as you set it really good with powder with this this will be good for everything there's this youtuber I love in an Instagram her name Samantha with a lot of S's and she really shows you how to do the whole face and makeup using just this I'll put the link to that video down below speaking of cream makeup these are cream makeups but in stick form and these have saved me so many times I just get the black and white and you could sharpen these and they're really good if you want to do an eye area of cream makeup um, I usually do cream makeup around the eyes because it sets better with the fine lines and everything and I set it and I try to do eyes last so that it doesn't crease but what we're going to get into next is the most useful product for special effects makeup you could ever have in a definitely kit essential which is liquid latex I would suggest you get clear you don't need both of them this is 
a more skin tone color and I think they come darker. This is so useful. You can make prosthetics out of this. If you've seen my Five Nights at Freddy's Foxy video, I made prosthetics out of this with like cotton balls and tissue paper. Tissue paper in this can make so many effects. You can make torn open wounds, torn open pieces of skin. You can even make like things that look like bones protruding with this stuff. You could cover an eyebrow to paint on top of it. Speaking of eyebrow covers, I always have a glue stick with me to do an eyebrow cover. But if you have a more intense makeup and it's more water based on top of your eyebrows, use a piece of a bald cap to glue down over your eyebrows brow and this I cannot explain to you how useful this is definitely have q-tips and disposable makeup sponges on hand with you when you do this and what you also need like see the q-tips with the cotton balls and cotton pads like have these on deck all the time you also would need tissue paper and both beauty and special effects this is so so useful you could Tear this from two ply to one ply and do different types of rips and effects onto your skin. Make it look like a zipper or like your skin falling apart. Do old age makeup with this. this is so good. Like do painting of highlights and shadows of wrinkles and then stipple this on your face and stretch your face and make them look so many years older. This on a job is necessary. Another thing you're going to need on set for a special effects makeup where you're doing a commercial or movie or even a shoot maybe for a gore magazine is blood. All different types of blood. You can make your own blood with like corn syrup and food dye or you could do what I did if I didn't have time to make my own. I got this whole kit of them. So there's like chunky blood, more liquefy blood, there's light blood dark blood and then I have like more thicker blood that's darker that's like old and aged there's different types of blood and you never knew when you're doing your Halloween vampire costume ideas as a child that there'd be different types of blood that you'd want to study later and blood is definitely one of those things you don't want to use this on makeup brushes as you see I keep it in this plastic thing and it still leaks you want to have the q-tips for this definitely to apply blood mostly that's what I use or a makeup brush that you don't love and you could throw away also what you need to have in your kit other than the disposable makeup sponges is these sponges these are the go-to sponges I always use for special effects An orange stipple sponge it doesn't come looking like this actually craftily shaped this myself with some scissors to look like a beauty blender. These usually come in a block and they're pretty pricey. You get a big block but it's like 30 bucks for the big block where you can make like 10 or more of these out of it. And these are just like the rough rustic black sponges that I was talking about in the beauty makeup video where you could put this at the bottom of a container with some 99% alcohol or something to fastly clean your brushes. This is what the color switchers are made out of that are these. Look literally it's the same thing and this instead of paying a lot of money for these you can make this literally yourself with like a little mint container and putting that in there and it saves you so much money and these save you so much time to have color switchers from going between brushes of different colors but it doesn't clean the brush it just changes the color and knocks the color off another makeup sponge that you might need if you're doing bald caps or stippling from an appliance that you've glued onto your face with liquid latex to really stipple into your skin. This will give skin-like texture of stippling with liquid latex. That's what this is good for. It usually comes in a giant wheel and I cut them down to wedges like this that look like the usual disposable makeup sponges but a lot smaller. Another thing we're going to need we talk about in beauty makeup is uh, powder puff. These are so useful. Oh and I forgot to tell you about this in the beauty makeup video. If you have a lot of these they say they're disposable. What I do is I put them in a laundry, like with your towels or something, and put them in your laundry and dry them with your towels and stuff so you can reuse them over and over again. As long as they don't have stains on it, if they have stains, girl, just toss it out because you don't want a stain full. Even if it's clean, you know it's clean. You don't want to put a stain filled powder puff on a client's face, okay? And of course you're going to need powders. We talked about this in the beauty makeup portion of this video where there's the RCMA traditional powder but it has talc in it and talc has been known to cause like certain types of cancer they say in different scientific studies. So I try to find mattifying translucent powders that are for makeup grade 
and don't have talc in it, which is I found the Lunatic Cosmetics Lab Mattifying Powder does not have any talc listed in the ingredients, so I really love this. As you can see, hit pan. Now let's go through makeup removers. You're not just going to need your regular standard makeup remover wipe, but you're gonna need this thing called isopropyl mirastate to get off certain types of prosthetics off the face. I hate this stuff, it's so greasy and so oily, but when you really need it, it's very useful and you will really be grateful to have it because your skin won't tear as much when you're taking liquid latex and very harsh chemicals off your face. It's a very big mouthful, it's a purple mirror state. They also have this in a gel form so it really sticks on your skin and absorbs. What this does, it's a chemical that really works. You cannot push and shove it. This is a brush I use specifically for this because you want a specific brush for this. Because if you use this on a regular makeup brush, that brush will totally be destroyed. So I have a makeup brush just for this so it's like in its little own cleaning kit sometimes I'll rubber band these together and put this in a plastic bag put everything in a ziploc baggie that's liquid like this because you don't want the chemicals to mix or go everywhere in your makeup train case because that's happened to me before and it's happened to the best of us you really want to soak the brush and let the chemical in this really do the work for you because if you like don't put enough of this on, it'll really hurt when you're taking off those prosthetics. Now speaking of chemicals you put on your face, let's go into adhesives. There's the usual spirit gum that a lot of people use. This one's called the RCMA Matte Adhesive that I love. I'm not really sure is this is actual, it's a lot darker than regular spirit gum. And I really love this for like beard work and stuff, which we will go through that as well. Uh, Prosade, a little stronger than this. This, you really definitely need this if you're going to apply prosthetics on the face, whether they are rubber or silicone or some sort of latexy prosthetic. You really can do a lot with this and you really need it in your kit if you're doing special effects makeup. Now this is totally optional, super fancy, and super expensive. If you want a medical grade glue that's even more effective than Prosate, I would suggest you get Telesis. Watch out for this around the neck area if your person that or client or actor, actress, whatever your person, your model that you're working on is very sensitive skin because I notice, especially on me, I have really sensitive skin. If I get this around my neck and don't properly take it off or have it on for too long with my sweat, it will break me out even though it's medical grade glue and you really have to make sure that you know the ingredients and you know if your client is allergic to different type of things like latex. You don't want to step a latex on an old age makeup person if they're allergic to latex because they'll break out in hives, maybe they won't be able to breathe or something terrible. Another thing that we had in the beauty makeups video that you really need is baby wipes and hand sanitizer. Like I said, this one's my favorite, but it's kind of pricey. Another thing that you might not need and a lot of people don't think about is a makeup mixer. I can't tell you how many times this has saved my life because sometimes I don't have the right type of aqua paint that will cover the whole body in a certain color I want. So I'll mix my own cream paints and mix this in it and it spreads more evenly on the body if I put this in it. I wonder if I could use just lotion instead of this because this is kind of pricey, but it's great when I need it and it's a really good base to mix with cream products. Speaking of cream products, another cream product makeup, if you're doing foam prosthetics and you don't want the creams to mix with the foam and break it down, you have to know what type of makeup goes with certain prosthetics. Sometimes you will need rubber mask grease paint. Oh, I have a little spatula in there. How cute. I need to clean that. These are rubber mask grease paints. This is pretty pricey, but I got the kit with all, literally all the colors, girl, because I work on so many different prosthetics lately. This is by Cryolon. Other brands make pros, um, rubber mask grease paint. There's also another makeup product called Pax, with, with, which work with different types of bald caps. Bald caps, you can make your own with liquid latex. If you really know how to make it, I make mine sometimes, but if I don't have the time, I buy my own. This is my favorite brand, it's super pricey, but if I need it in a pinch, the watermelon bald caps that come in like three or four different sizes that I get mine from friends here in Hollywood, you can buy these online. Ball caps come in plastic and rubber, so you need to know like rubber mask grease paint or packs works on rubber. It, Certain makeups work on certain bald caps and bald caps are really hard to do, but if 
your set makeup that you're working on that day has to have a bald cap and bald caps are really hard sometimes you just have to do it another great essential kit item that you need are aqua paints and i haven't used it in a while the plastic just fell out i keep the plastic on them to try to keep them clean and um, what i use now is these big industrialized ones that are a lot more expensive like this is probably 30 to 40 45 dollars you get this for these are like ten dollars or more for each thing because they're so big and i go through them like crazy especially the white and the black one you've seen these in a lot of videos mayron also makes um an aqua one Krylon makes them. You get these really cheap online for like, I mean cheap for all these colors, I think like $30 for all these colors, girl. Come on. Another makeup palette that you might need. I know we're going through a lot of makeup palettes, but you might need a alcohol makeup palette. You can use a cream based makeup very lightly or watered down instead of this, but this looks so realistic and the 99% alcohol that you also need that to spray down your makeup station and clean afterwards. You can also use it to activate the colors in this and this makes it's completely waterproof. What else I would suggest if you um, know how to use these, this is the Real Creations brand. They also have Skin Illustrator. Yeah, there's a lot of great ones out there is these teeth lacquer palettes, which is also alcohol activated by alcohol. They also sell these in different blood tones and there's different types of palettes for different types of alcohol palettes. But you just dry off your teeth, spray this down with 99% alcohol, and then put this on the teeth. It doesn't taste that great, but I'm so used to it by now. Alcohol palettes are really great for waterproofing your makeup. Not all your makeup, just this is waterproof. Another thing you might need, I talked about this in beauty makeup, is these barber apron things. This is a black one that is like coated so all the alcohol and aqua paints that you put on will slide off it and not like stick on you. Another thing you might need is duo eyelash glue or any eyelash glue and clear to apply certain types of things or eyelashes or hairs, certain things like that. One really odd thing you might not think that you need for special effects makeup is various combs. This one's broken for some reason and I really like this one. That's probably why it's broken. I use it a lot because it's good for hair work and fake hairs because it could comb through and you could like tap and set things and like tease up hair and stuff. And speaking of fake hairs, this is totally optional, but sometimes for a job you will need different types of fake hairs. Like I make beards sometimes and that's a more specialized thing, but sometimes you might need it. And so you might need like little cuticle scissors, like I said in the beauty makeup video, and regular hair scissors because you never know if you need to make a beard or something. A great product you will definitely need is gelatin. They have this in clear and different types of skin tones. You can make boils with this. You can make different types of melted skin effects. You can make different little tiny prosthetics and scars and cuts and different types of things with this. And I have used this so many times. To make boils and stuff, you might not need to sit it on something. So palettes, of course, I talk about these in beauty effects videos. Beauty effects, beauty makeup, essentials kit video before. This is a smaller one, this is a bigger one. You also need tweezers when you do special effects makeup. I have been literally on set with like people that worked for Terminator and the one thing that they're so mad at that they wish I had to share with them is literally they thought their job was gonna be over and destroyed because they didn't have a pair of tweezers, no joke. Another thing you might need is a spray bottle of water. This is a fancy Evian one and you could spray this on people's face to make them cool off or make their skin more dewy or you could use this to activate your uh, watercolors without it getting messy. You could just have a regular spritz bottle of water though instead of this fancy thing. Oh my gosh, and you also need um, nose and scar wax. This is so useful. They come in different skin tones. I would suggest you get almost all of them. If you didn't need to do like a little effect on an area that doesn't move too much, you don't want to do this on an effect area that the face moves. You would definitely want to do more of a gelatin prosthetic or even a pre-made silicone prosthetic instead of this. But like on a hand wound or something really quick if you need to do it on set, the nose and scar wax is really good. A makeup setting spray is really good. The Bin Knife Final Seal is really good for effects makeup. Random, but I would suggest you get the Gillette Regular Original Foamy Shave Cream because this totally gets off fake blood. Eye drops for redness. You definitely would need, depending on your client, because there's so many things that go around the eyes for special effects makeup that they get irritated. Another thing you don't think of that you would need for special effects makeup is little tiny certain pots 
in like containers for makeup like this was a pre-made color a foundation I made for a client that I need to clean out and you could like save clients makeups in this what really works too is like those little watercolor containers they're like the plastic containers that you put little watercolors in those are really good to save certain makeup colors for a job you definitely might need some bobby pins and a wig cap depending on what job you have maybe you have to put a wig on a client maybe you have to actually glue down a full lace wig which is kind of complicated but i learned how to do and blend their foundation color into the lace of the wig maybe you have to put down foam prosthetics like little horns or something you never know what the job might entail will you do hopefully you talk about before you bring all your makeup on the set another optional makeup product that's really fancy if like you want something it's pricier than gelatin but works better than that is third degree they come in color and clear in this you put equal parts of each and you have to make sure you tighten each jar like you get a and B their title you get a little bit of a tighten the jar close it back up a little bit of B mix it together make sure you tighten that jar and close it back up and when you mix those two they make this substance that's like gelatin but it's a lot better I can't explain it it's more movable on the face and it just works so incredibly great and looks more realistic and blends into the skin a lot nicer than the gelatin does but girl these are like what $24 for these two little pots of product and this is like $20 for like over twice as many like usually there's a lot more in here because I use some like I said you might need a first aid kit put that in your bag what I usually do is I have this huge clear bag and that's called my set bag I put usually my special effects makeups of my bloods and stuff inside of these bags so I can see them make sure none of them leaked and I also have my train case that I put special effects separate them from special effects to beauty like I said I'm a jack of all trades or I try to be so I try to prepare my cases for both so I have one bag and one train case that's like half my body length that I take on sets with me and maybe another tote for my lunch and just like my personal items so I have three things I know that's a lot depending on how much you could put into one thing. Another thing that people don't think about is contact solution. I would have that because sometimes you have to put special effects lenses in clients or you have a professional or they may need to use it to take out their contacts. Another thing you might need is baby shampoo to get, oh my gosh, this is one thing if you do ball caps, sometimes you have to put like this gel stuff in it, which is disgusting. Maybe you need to take hair gel out in this and soak it in water which is really good speaking of water hot water and fresh clean towels those towels that are like this length that are good for washing your hands that are in the bathroom or washing your body you might want to have like a bunch of clean I suggest like white towels so you know which ones are dirty and I put them in hot water a towel warmer would be great if you want to get really fancy on the set life in Hollywood because warm hot towels you get to use less isopropyl mirror state and use up all your product because this is all these products are really pricey for special effects makeup and the hot towel will really break down some of the product and really cleanse their skin along with the micellar water and the makeup remover another really good makeup remover that saved me on set for special effects makeup when I did full body mermaids was the Sony Kashuk purple eye makeup remover that I show in a lot of videos I don't have it right here right now but I'm just thinking about at the top of my head that is really great too oh and I almost forgot speaking of little containers that you might need I got these off of Amazon and they're the disposable clear shot glasses these come in so handy when I want to use liquid latex prosade and I don't want everything to mix up even telesis and this is very fancy and optional you don't need this but these are like little candle votive looking holders this is specifically for special effects makeup because it has mummies and stuff on it has a lot of Egyptian things and they will hold them so that when you have so many things on your station you don't want to hit things and have all these chemicals going into each other and causing a real dangerous actual mess. You want to have your station organized. You want to make sure you have all your brushes lined up and what I would suggest like I said in the beauty effects makeup video, effects beauty makeup video is have a separate jar for your dirty brushes so you know which ones are dirty and which ones are clean so you're not mixing it all up. 
But that is everything in my special effects makeup kit essentials. And I did my beauty one before. And again, if you haven't checked that out, it'll be the first link down below in the description box. So if you think I forgot anything in this video for the special effects makeup essential kits, leave it in a comment down below. Because I know I forgot because there is a lot of products. And I just really appreciate your guys' continuous support and help in the little things. And before I leave you guys, I am going to do a special little surprise for you all for getting through both of these videos of the Makeup Essential Kit items. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I got this beautiful fancy Real Techniques PR package. And I mean, look at the pink ribbon. It's just so, looks like something from Victoria's Secret that they would give the Victoria's Secret Angels. Look at, that's the founders of Real Techniques who are actually YouTubers, the girls Pixie Woo. They gave me this of all these makeup brushes of beauty makeup, essential brushes. I have like literally all of these and I want to give it to you guys since I have like most of these because you guys deserve it. And if you're starting off with makeup and you're really inspired and passionate to do this, I think this should go to a well-deserving person who really wants to like do what they love in life and really want to take this seriously. So what I'm also going to give you that I talked about in my beauty video, I was going to put this in there as a giveaway, but I want to wait until the end until you watch this video too. I'm going to give you, I have so many shadow shields and they are so sweet that they sent me a lot more. These are so great on set when you're doing very like intense smoky eyes. So I'm going to give you some shadow shields in this cute little bag. So yeah. That will be the giveaway. All these shadow shields and all these a wonderful, my favorite brand of makeup brushes. And this giveaway will end on Friday, June 24th. You have until then to enter at Rafflecopter. It will be one of the first links down below in the description box where you enter through Twitter, Facebook, and you enter once or twice depending on how many social media accounts you have where you'll put input your email address. Make sure that you are 18 or older or if you're younger, you have your parents' consent because I really want someone re really deserving to get this have consent to be able to give me your email address. This will be totally international as all my giveaways are. I hope you guys really enjoy this and again you have till June 24th to be able to win these and when I pick the winners on June 24th I will email the winner and they will only have 48 hours to answer those emails so make sure you're at your computer or your device where you get emails from to see if you won because if that person who wins doesn't answer their email within 48 hours I'm gonna have to pick someone else because I cannot be waiting forever for you to get these awesome things and I hope you guys enjoyed guys and girls can both get this I mean everybody can do makeup I wouldn't suggest using these on special effects because they're really nice brushes I would use your nicer brushes for beauty makeup my opinion but anybody can enter this again international make sure you have your parents permission if you're under 18 years old for me to get your address in case you win and to enter because I also have to have your email address for you to enter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you enjoyed the giveaway. I hope someone really deserving gets this and yeah I just wanted to give you a special surprise for always supporting me. There'll be more giveaways in the future and I love you all. See you soon. Bye!